Everything about health, sexuality, all of these things begins when you're a child. Whenever I look at somebody's design, I always think about the child first. If you think about the child first, you can get to see what the, what the wounds are, what the conditioning is. The manifested child has a capacity to be able to act and to be able to act without needing the other. Because of that, the moment they come into the world, they have parents that are paranoid about them. Parents that are concerned that they need to be controlled. These are children that generally get punished, and if not punished physically, restricted. In other words, that the parents are afraid that they cannot control these children. The result in the children themselves is that, of course, this builds what is the theme of the manifester, which is anger. Anger that they're not able to be able to go out and play because they're told they can't. Yet they know that they can. I mean, they know that it's possible. And the manifester child is always dealing with restriction and restraint, and this builds up, it builds up their anger. Now, if you're going to raise a manifester child, the most important thing is to teach them politeness. It's very important for manifester children to recognize that the only way they're going to be able to do what they can do is that they have to ask permission when they're children because they're in the hierarchy and they're not at the top. And that they have to learn to recognize that as long as they can ask permission, if they're not unreasonably denied, they're going to be healthy people. However, they're not. You know, rarely, rarely is that the case. Rarely do they have that kind of positive conditioning. Most of the time, it's simply restriction. Now think about what happens to the manifester child. The manifester child gets to a point where they don't want to ask anything. They don't want to ask for anything because they don't want to be told no. They don't want to be restricted. They don't want to feel that anger again, so they stop asking. And when they stop asking, they start cheating. You know, they don't want to ask if they can go out. They sneak out their bedroom window. You know, they don't want to ask if it's okay to stay late after school. They simply do. And then they deal with the punishment that comes to them later. Now that leads to something else. If they get sick, they don't tell anybody either. In other words, they stop looking for allies in life very, very early and feel very much alone. Now the whole thing to understand about the health and well-being of a manifester is that you don't see manifestors going for help. You don't see them going to the doctor when they have a problem. You know, you don't see them until they're deathly ill. You know, only then, only then, do you actually get to see them. And that means that they're not going to be looking for psychological counseling, and they're not going to be looking for sexual therapy, and they're not going to be looking for health care, and they don't give a damn if it's holistic or not. The whole thing makes them angry that they would need somebody to help them in the first place. These are people that drop dead all the time. They literally explode. You see, all that anger is inside of them. And that anger either explodes as their physical system exploding or it explodes in violence or aggression. You know, my favorite image of the sick manifester is the manifester with a heart attack on the street yelling at people. You know, lying there dying and screaming at them. Leave me alone. I'm all right. <laughs> Fush, gone. You know, that's the manifester. You know, somebody comes to help and they go away. You know, dead. So, if you have a manifester child, if you don't teach them, if you don't teach them that they need help, everyone does, that they need to ask for help, and that if they ask for help and it's reasonable that it will be answered, hopefully, for them in their conditioning, you know, then they will be the kind of beings that can get to the point where they can ask for help. I mean, I am a pure manifester, non-emotional. I will go to death's door before I look for somebody to help me. You know, the hardest thing in the world for me to do is ask anybody for anything. It makes me angry, just the idea of it. And I'm a manifester. What to do? That was, you know, that's the way I came into the world. So the manifester carries all of this built-in anger. And of course, this is what can kill them. I mean, manifestors are what they called A-types. You know, people that can just explode and die. 
That's them. You know, it just rages out of their bodies. 